Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea. So I'm in my car. Today I'm filming a eating like my childhood self for a day. I've been bugging to do this, like absolutely just bugging. So let's get started. I just went to second class and I'm really, really hungry. So I think I forgot to pack silverware, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm at work. That's why I'm in my car. So for breakfast, I have this with pepper raspberries. When I was little, I would eat raspberries probably every single day. And I was very specific with the way that I ate them. Okay, wait, this is actually a really full circle moment. Okay, so I have acrylics. I always have acrylics. But when I was little, my mom wouldn't let me have acrylics. I was allowed to paint my nails, but I wasn't allowed to have acrylics. So I would pretend I had them with my raspberries and I would stick the raspberry on my fingers, like a full hand of raspberries on my fingers. Here, I'll, show, I'll do it. I feel like this is just gross now that I actually have acrylic. I can't do it. That's just gonna be so gross. Okay, but then I would eat the raspberries. I would pretend I was a witch first with long acrylic nails, <laughs> but then I would eat the raspberries. And it's just a fun way to eat your raspberries, you know? I was right, I didn't pack silverware. But looking for me, this is my number one tip I can tell anyone who has a car. Keep some of these in your glove box. It's an assorted cutlery thing. I'm always ready if I need to grow. But I'm doing this video because I'm going through a journey of trying to heal my inner child. Now that I'm 18 and I'm almost 19 and I'm going to college, I'm just really grieving <laughs> my inner child. And like, it's just becoming so apparent that I'm not a kid anymore. And that's just like a really hard thing to accept because your whole life you hear like, oh, when you grow up or when I grow up, but then when the when actually comes, it's like, what do I do? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just really overwhelming, honestly. So I'm healing that little girl inside me and we're gonna grow up, but we're gonna stay young at heart. Just like Frank Sinatra and my uncle Ricky, they both say, stay young at heart. <laughs> Next, because obviously I'm not just having raspberries for breakfast, I'm having Cheerios. Now I'm kind of sad because our lactose-free milk was gone bad. I feel like it's kind of illegal to drink, I meant to eat cereal with anything but real milk, but I have to have almond milk, I guess. So yeah, I'm having it with almond milk, but so these are the kind of Cheerios we had growing up. I really liked the frosted ones, not the honey nut, not the anything else, not the flavored, just the frosted ones, but I only was allowed to have those when I went to my Nan Ann's house because she always had them. Those were her favorite too. But, well, actually, it's not that I wasn't allowed to have them, but my mom just didn't buy the frosted ones because of the sugar. My mom was really into buying us the best options she could so that they were just around. So we had sugary cereals, but the sugary cereals we had were like the organic kind. Then if we were like at the store and we saw something we wanted, she would let us get it because she wanted to normalize sugar. She didn't want to demonize food groups. So she would let us have whatever we wanted, but she would just make sure that the healthy options were always around. And I'm really grateful for that because like some kids, their parents don't let them have sugar or soda or anything. And then, okay, so let's And then when they're older, they like can't control themselves. And I'm just really grateful my mom never did that. But yeah, if I was at the store and my mom let me pick out a cereal, I would either be getting a uh, Cookie Crisp or Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms was my top number one favorite cereal. And we always had Frosted Flakes in the house. That was the one thing that my mom didn't buy organic because, well, she did buy them. We had both versions in our house, actually. We're big Frosted Flakes people. That's my brother's favorite cereal. I feel like this just isn't gonna be as good without real milk. I don't like my cereal. I don't like it when it's dry. I haven't had this in so long. I'm so excited. Even though these are like so plain and simple, why are they so good? They just really hit the spot. Also, can you hear that crackle? Rest Krispie Treat too. Like what? Yeah, the almond milk doesn't ruin it. The almond milk is actually fine. All I can taste is the cereal. I can't even really taste the almond milk. When I was asking my mom what foods I would eat a lot of when I was little, like prepping for this video, she said I would eat Cheerios like maybe twice a day, maybe more. Like I would have them for breakfast. I would have them for a snack with more raspberries, actually. Actually, for breakfast, now that I think about it, I usually had 
for breakfast Cheerios with a banana. And then for my snack, I would have Cheerios with raspberries. Or I would have bugles with raspberries. Those are my favorite chips. I would do one hand of the witch fingers with the raspberries and one hand of the witch fingers with the bugles. And then I would eat one bugle and then I would eat one raspberry. And yeah, I don't know why I did that. Well, I do know why. I wanted acrylics and my mom won't let me get acrylics, but I don't know. I just don't know why I decided to eat my food like that. I forgot how quickly Cheerios get soggy. They're so good. That was incredibly nostalgic. I really enjoyed that. Then I had a 10 meal, honestly. Little Chelsea knew what she was doing. It's lunchtime. It's like one o'clock, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Lunchbox haul, oh my God, cute. Okay, if you're wondering why my face is about to get really red, it's because I'm sitting in my car and I'm not turning it on because the AC will blast and then you can't hear anything. So I'm just gonna wait until I explain this. So I have my cucumbers. I love cucumbers, I always have. They've always been an obsession of mine. If you talk to any of my friends, you'll know that every single day at lunch I have cucumbers. I do. Sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. I, I just have them every single day. They're mini, kind of, like gherkin um, pickles almost. There's literally nothing better than a cold cucumber. Mm -hmm. The other thing I need to take a gluten pill for. Recently, gluten pills have not been working because, well, I don't really know why. It's kind of annoying. But I like to eat gluten. I just can't. So hopefully this works. I bet you're wondering, wow. If I have a tummy ache after this, it's gonna be devastating, but I'm having a PB&J. And the reason, yes, I could have used gluten-free bread for my PB&J, but I was not going to because I just hate gluten-free bread. And little Chelsea would be so devastated if she ever opened her lunchbox and took a bite of her PB&J. And there was that crummy bread in her lunchbox. Now, it, it also, it wouldn't even hold the peanut butter and jelly. It would either crumble into shreds and dust, or it would taste like cardboard. I said, screw it, I'm eating real bread, and we all have to deal with the consequences of our actions, and we'll see if this has a consequence. I'm also gonna watch Hannah Montana while I eat. I have been watching it during my lunch breaks recently. It's an incredibly good time. The episodes are literally 22 minutes long, though I don't lose my attention span, which is wonderful. I use strawberry jelly. Growing up, my mom and my grandma would make their own jams. In Maine, we have two big fruit harvest seasons, strawberries and blueberries. So we made blueberry jam and we made strawberry jam. We like would make so much that like, we still have it in the house like right now and we haven't made it in two years. Which sounds gross but it's not because it's fine, like it's canned. I think I like blueberry better. Little Chelsea did not eat much protein and I'm kind of feeling it. Like I normally eat a lot more protein than this and my lunch definitely had more protein than my breakfast but I'm like craving protein. It's kind of weird. I'm having my snack. I'm talking kind of quiet because I don't want to wake up the puppies. But I'm going to have chocolate milk. So as I've said, milk does not agree with me. And I'm craving protein. So <laughs> I'm having this. This Vital Proteins chocolate collagen. <laughs> it legit tastes like chocolate milk. And then I'm going to have it with a peach and watermelon. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm going downstairs for dinner. My mom is making fajitas because when I was little, I had tacos and like fajitas and like Mexican food probably at least three or four times a week. I don't know why. Maybe because every kid. Because that's a good way to get kids to eat their veggies. What? My mom's a genius, low key. Okay, okay, Sharon. Okay. Okay, let's go have some tacos. Yum! They're not gluten free. That was so good. Um, not really nostalgic because we eat them all the time because we still eat Mexican food like three times a week, maybe. No, actually less. Probably only like once a week now. But it's always been good. Tacos are always gonna be good. So, for dessert, I'm making that. Okay, I don't know if you've ever been to Friendly's, but they have this monster sundae. And I'm making it. 
because I used to have one right next to my house, so I would go always once a week, maybe twice a week, and I would get this Sunday. So I'm gonna make it myself because the friendly is near my house is gone, so I can't go get it. Masterpiece. This is oh, yeah. oh, okay. Let's taste test it. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. I did taste test those crumble cookies. I could not help myself. My sister brought them home. Now I have a belly ache because, as I say all the time, I am not supposed to eat gluten. <laughs> I've had it twice today, so I'm gonna go to bed. But regardless of my tummy ache, today was incredibly healing. I highly recommend you go try eating like your childhood self for a day. And if you wanna see me do a part two, there's so many foods I didn't eat that I was like debating on having. I would actually love to do a part two, so if you want that, comment it. Literally one comment, I'll do it. It was so fun. This is your sign, go heal your inner child, or even if your inner child doesn't need healing, just to like reinvite them into your life because it's fun. It is so fun. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my socials because I post lots of fashion, food, health stuff on there. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.